Alright, this is a video about the staff minion necromancer that I play as. So, I'm gonna talk about the build. So you can see I'm staff and necromancer and minion. So, here's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Mark of the Nightmare um, for the condition damage. And I play this class because uh, Goblin and Mongerman, I pl normally play with them in uh, tournaments and things like that, but we haven't been playing much at all. Um, and we generally, this is a support for them, because Monger generally is a Guardian or a Mesmer, and Goblin is generally uh, the uh, banner warrior. And having those banners down with my necromancer and minions, oh my god, those minions never fucking die. It's pretty nice. So, uh, Rune of the Nightmare, uh, just whatever on these things, because I hate being in the water. Um, I just put a Nightmare on that one too. Um, Staff of Demon Summoning because I just want more minions out and that I love that Flesh Reaver. Um, these ones I don't. I hardly ever use. Uh, you'll probably in any video you'll hardly ever see me switching to these. But uh, the Necromancer is incredibly slow so I use the horn but even that, it doesn't last very long. It's just, uh. So I, I really see no point in switching to this. I'll try and get a better second set of weapons, but the, this is my main, main weapon. Uh, here you go, uh, skills, as you can see right here. Uh, I don't use the worm. I haven't really used it much, but in pug battles that I'm mostly doing right now, and in the world we've world, I need more something that can move around better. This guy's nice, but and he does quite a bit of damage now that I'm look looking at him. Yeah, he has, does shit tons of damage, but he can't move around. And if I was doing tournaments with Monger and Goblin, I might use him because I'm mostly going to be capping in those. Okay, so the traits I have 20, 30, and 20. Another thing with this build is it's really good for new players who want to try out the Necromancer, which I haven't seen a lot of Necromancers, which is why I'm continuing to use the Necromancer. Because you see a lot of warriors, a lot of guardians, a lot of thieves, and hardly, uh, and a lot of ele elementalists because rain down fire pretty much. But you hardly ever see any of the other classes. Oh, and mesmers as well. Fuck mesmers. So I was like, okay, I'll do a necromancer because I had one in the first game, really liked it. And I want to have one in this one. And I'm really glad it's really straightforward, and it's really it's a really easy build for new ca for new people in PvP who just want to try and play. So I have spiteful removal. There's not really much in in this one, um, so I chose this. It seemed the most effective. Um, and training of the master. This is a must. Because if you're going to go minion, you need your minions to do as much damage as possible. And death magic. Uh, minion master, of course. This is a must because though you have this one, which I'm going to show you in a minute, they still die really easily. And especially these two, you really have to watch out for these two. Um, 
especially your, especially your little healer guy. Because if you're not watching him carefully, he will die. Um, this one, if you're going to go staff, this is a must. Greater mercs. I will, I'll show you in a little bit the difference between not having greater marks with staff and having greater marks with staff if you're kind of like, uh, but it really makes a difference. And then this one. Flesh of the Master minions have 50% more health. That's a must, because if you don't have this one, they're going to die like crazy. And the, yes, this one isn't going to help you out as much if they're dying too quickly. You need to make sure you always have your minions up, because if you don't, you're pretty much screwed. Anyone gets a lock on you, no matter what, you're not going to last very long if there's more than two people. Uh, mark of Evasion, leave a mark of blood when you dodge. This one plus this one works very well. Um, I'll show you why. And Vampiric Master uh, is very nice. It helps you keep you alive. So, all this is mostly necro mostly minion, but I needed some staff skills to go in with it. There are other staff skills that you can look at, but I'm mostly focusing on the minions. So, I sacrificed staff skills for minion. Like, there's a uh, one that allows your staff skills to recharge faster, but I wanted a minion one more. So, I'm going to show you the difference between not having, yeah, I'm going to show you the difference between not having the greater marks and having the greater marks. So, let's go, there you go, it's about that big, and about that big. So as you can see, uh, they're actually pretty big. But if I was to go and put it back on, now, as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger, quite a bit bigger. This, I highly recommend the skill if you are going staff and minion, highly recommend it. it is amazing. You can get full groups of people with just one skill. It's... I mean... I'm gonna be looking at more builds later on. I'm gonna try for full blooding, or bleeding, where I get health from them constantly. But I'm really enjoying this, this uh, build. It's really fun to just go in and just tear things apart and then get out as fast as possible before anyone really realizes that you're there. So yeah, this is my this is my necro build. And I will be doing some more PvP in a little while. And I hope you guys I hope this was really informative and alright. So that's it.